Welcome to the Churches of Barnsley series. Today we're visiting St Mary the Virgin Church which serves the community of Barnsley. This is one of Barnsley's main parish churches and is indeed one of its oldest buildings too. It is believed there has been a centre of worship here since before the 700s. For context, the Vikings didn't invade Britain until the end of the 700s. It is believed it was also called St Helens at that time too, with that name coming from the mother of the Roman Emperor Constantine. It used to be in the parish of Silkston. Silk was an Anglo-Saxon name and Tun was Old English and was a suffix meaning farmstead. The tower was built in around 1400, made of rubble, whilst the rest of the church is made of ashlar sandstone. Most of the church is in Early English style, a type of architecture that began in the Early English period of 1180 to 1270. The current building, excluding the 15th century tower, dates back to 1822 when it was consecrated on the 22nd of October. It was rebuilt by Woodhead and Hurst of Doncaster with the intention of gathering more sittings. George Frederick Bodley, an English Gothic Revival architect from Hull, redesigned the interior in 1870. A lot of the stained glass windows were paid for by local families and were installed in the 1890s. Speaking of stained glass, there's a rather touching memorial to the side here. This stained glass window at the east end of the church is dedicated to Dorothy Fox, a nurse who died of pneumonia in 1918. Then there is this stunning memorial. With 201 names on it, this Gothic style pillar is dedicated to the 201 men from Barnsley who served and died in the First World War. It was made on the 22nd of October 1922 by a man called F.C. Eden. Nearby there's also a memorial to the Oaks Colliery disaster. This was a disaster at the Oaks Colliery in Barnsley in which over 380 workers died with over 90 of them believed to be children. Churches are not just a place of worship and coming together but also of memorial and mourning. They're also a place of activity, as Barnsley College uses this church for music performances and events. It just goes to show that churches, especially here in Barnsley, are not just for preserving the past, but keeping the community together for the future. <laughs> 